All right, guys. So on my left is an Ali Abdal caption style that I created in CapCut, and it took me almost two hours to create that. And on my right is the same caption style that I use an AI tool, which took me 10 seconds. Yep, you heard me right, in just 10 seconds. So the AI tool we'll be talking about today is Submagic. This is something I've been using already in my workflow, and I feel like introducing it to you guys. So first go to submagic.co and it's going to take you to this very page and in this very tutorial I'll be using two practical examples to show you guys how to go about it. When you get to this page you can just click on login or you can sign up for this. And so far it works really great when you use Google Chrome browser. So when it takes you to this page you can just click on create. Then on this page you can just click on this and it's going to take you to the folder where you're going to bring in the video or you can just go straight to the folder, click on the video, just drag and drop in this very space and it's going to bring you to this page. So with the first example that I'll be showing you guys, this an edit I've already edited in CapCut. Then you can choose the language that you were speaking in the video, I'll choose English and then click on upload and wait for it to do its magic. And now the fun part. When you look on the left, it has this 12 caption style that you can choose from, from Homozi, Mr. Beast, Iman and Ali. So with this first practical example, I'm going to use Ali caption style. That's my favorite so far. So I'm just going to click on that and play and show you guys. All right, guys, I just added a bunch of counting numbers. So with this, let me take it back here. Usually I put my caption somewhere above this lower third. So you can use position Y to do that. I'm just going to drag it and it's going to come towards that very side. And also you can increase the size here if you want to and change the test color here to any color you want to use. But with this, I'm just gonna maintain it at that color. And now let's go to the caption style. That's where you can do more tweak to the caption itself. First of all, when you see it says, all right guys, and I want these guys to be part of this very line. So with this, I'm just gonna click on that and you got so many options here. So I'm just gonna click on move back to previous line and it's gonna go right there and it's gonna add to guys, that I very test. And also if you have some corrections that you need to do, you can just click on that and do the correction by putting in that word. But so far it works pretty nice. It got my accent very clean and nice. So with this first practical example I'm showing you, this and edits I've done already. And at some part, I don't want the captions to show. So this is what you do. When I scroll through to where I was saying the numbers, I don't want the numbers because I've already done animation showing all the numbers and I want whatever I'm showing on the screen to show without really caption showing. So with that, I'll just scroll down and you can see this is where all the figures are. So I'm just going to click on that and delete that. Click on this, delete that. So now when I play and show you guys, 100, 200, 500, 1000, 5000. When it get there, it's just going to delete all the captions on there and then this is going to show. So this is how you're going to use when you have your edits already done for your client or your personal work. So when you look up here, it has this b rolls and publish. We're going to come back to that later on in this tutorial with the example two I'm going to show you guys. So when you're happy with whatever it is on the screen, you can just go to export and it's going to export and send to the email that you sign up with and you can download your file from there. This is where you have a raw video and you want a quick edit just like Alexa Mozi without doing so much edit to it. So let me play and show you guys right now. Alright guys, I just added a bunch of counting numbers to my web store. And you can see this side, I was really silent. I didn't know exactly what to say. So I'm going to be showing you guys. So I'm just going to drag, drop it in this very box. Then choose the language and then I'm just going to click on upload. So with this, when you look carefully, it's 22 seconds. It's a raw video and it has the spot that I was silent. So I'm going to show you guys. Click on captions and you can see it has auto cut. So with this, I'm going to use this to cut out the silent spot that I was having in the raw video. So just click on that and wait for it to do it magic. So now I'll play and show you guys. All right, guys, I just added a bunch of counting numbers to my web store and it's absolutely free. So you can see it cut down to 15 seconds from 22 to 15 seconds. So from here, then you can select one of these, but we're going to use Homozy 2 for this tutorial. Just click on that and then you can place it at the top or the down, just like we did it earlier on. And then with the size, you can change that too. And now click on captions. 
scroll down so with these emojis you can change it on this side so let's say if i don't like this very one i can just click on that and then it's going to bring out all the emojis that i can use so from this i can choose one of the emojis here so i'm just going to click on the eyes and you can see it shows right there it changes on that spot so over here if i want to add some emoji to it i can just click on the plus sign and then i'm just going to scroll down and choose one of the emojis to add on that side so i'm just going to choose random i'm just going to put this and you can see it adds on that very side and also it comes with a sound effect so let's say with the counting i want a sound effect you can just click on that very side then click on this sound icon and you can see the sound effect that it comes with so i'm just going to add this money sign to that very side just click on that and it's going to activate it let me show you guys when i play just added a bunch of counting numbers so as you can hear carefully added the sound so effect added a bunch of counting numbers and now b-rolls you can add some b-rolls to your video just click on that and when you go here you can click on this plus icon and it's going to pop out this very side as so i was saying all right guys and i want to add some bureau right to that side i can just click on add then i can search for that name and then i can just choose one of them and click on apply and right there it's going to add on that very side play and show you right, guys, guys I just added and one cool thing when you click on that you can add some transition to it so let's say with this i want it to zoom in fast or zoom out i can just choose right on this side and click on apply and play and show you guys all right guys I just and also with the bureau if you want to add your own bureau you can just click on that then this time i'm going to click on replace and then click on my bureaus and from here you can drag your own bureau into this very box and click on apply and it's going to apply to that very spot and also if you want to zoom out or add some transitions to the video itself just click on the plus icon and this time around instead of clicking on bureau you can just click on original and then it's going to bring your original video out so from here let's say if you want to zoom out or if you want a film burn or vintage you can choose one of them i'm going to go for film burn then scroll down and click on apply so now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like click on that download the files very easy nice and clean so now when you're done and you want to add music to your video you can just click on publish and over here they have this music spot just click on that and from here let's see if i want to add my own music to it i can go to the folder where i have the music drag the music into this very spot then when i play and show you guys how it sound like now you can just click on the music text itself and click on apply and it's going to apply to your video now i'll play and show you guys how it sounds like all right guys i just added a bunch of counting numbers and if the music volume is so loud you can just reduce it on this very side Best to my web store and it so your voice will be much higher than the music itself so from here if you're happy with the edits you can just click on export and then it's going to send to your email and you can download your files from there and now the pricing it starts with the trial version which is free but comes with the watermark then you can upgrade to basic pro and also agency level and i was able to get you guys 10 percent discount off by using the code joey10 at no additional cost and through that you'll be supporting this channel too all right guys catch you guys on the next one peace